Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be going over how we can bring our scene to life using lights. Because as of right now we've just got one big directional light and it is lighting everything up. And there's no detail lighting for the things like the fire, the lava, the coin pickups and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be adding lights to the lava, we're going to be adding lights to the fire, we're going to be adding lights to the coins, the fuel and all of that good stuff and hopefully by the end of this video, we're going to have a really cool looking scene. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of this one big directional light that is lighting up everything in our scene because it just doesn't look natural. And with the type of environment we've got, we just don't need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go over to my world outliner in the top right hand corner, and then I'm going to delete my skylight. And I'm also going to delete my light source as well. And now I've done that, you can see it's completely black, we've got a completely blank canvas for us to work with, and from here we can start to detail things. So all of our lights are going to be over on the left hand side. We've got a couple of different lights we've got available to us, and realistically we're only going to use a couple of these. Now, the spotlights we haven't really got a use for at the moment, and neither this skylight or the directional light. Today's video, we are pretty much just going to be using point lights to add a little bit of, a little bit of detail into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by dragging a point light and I'm actually going to place it just above my fire because at the moment it doesn't really bring, you know, bring any life to the scene. It doesn't light up like it should do. You sh everyone knows fire is quite bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this just above my fire here and you can see that does look quite nice and it really does bring it to life. And you can see we've got this shadow behind this little stand here as well. And now because our fire is right behind it, I've got to line this up so the shadow is an offset. And now what we also need to do is actually play around with the colour of the light because at the moment it's, it's, it's a bit too white to be fire. So what I'm going to do with the light selected, go to my details panel and I'm going to change the light colour and I'm going to give it this orange little glow here. Now one little tip and trick for you guys is don't go too far to the edges because it just makes your light look really really unrealistic. Try and keep it as close to the white side of things as you can and just use like a little orange highlight or a red highlight or whatever you're trying to do um, but for me like I said just try to keep it as close to the white as you can and then once I've done that I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Now the next thing I'm going to do with this little point light is because the fire only brightens up a little bit of the scene I'm going to make this a little bit more intense I'm going to make it bigger so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the intensity and I'm going to double that from 5000 to 10,000 and it's going to make it bigger. And with that I'm also going to change the attenuation radius as well. So that's sort of the, uh, the fall off. Um, by default um, that was at something like 1000 so I'm going to set this up to 2000 and that should be fine. And you can see this fire is starting to look really good. So let's press play real quick and see how much of the scene this actually lights up for the player. Give it a couple of seconds to generate, but at the moment you can see it's pitch black, but that's okay. But if we get over to the fire, you can see it really looks nice on the player's body and all of that good stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of detail lighting to the lava that we've got around here just to light up this whole pathway. And once again, the way I'm going to be doing this is just with point lights and I'm going to be using a series of these. Now, once again, I want these to be quite bright, so I'm going to be in turning up the intensity, and I'm also going to be trying to make this as low down to the lava as possible, but making sure it still just about illuminates the path, uh, the floor here for the player a little bit as well. So I'm going to add this in, and then I'm going to change the color, and this is quite a dark color this time, so I'm going to move it towards the red spectrum of thing, things. And once again, I don't want to make it all the way over to red. Instead, I want to keep it in, as close to the white as possible. So for me, I think that looks quite good. So let's just move that around a little bit more to the orange. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to press OK. I want this to be quite bright. Once again, intensity, I'm not going to have it quite as bright as the fire lava generally isn't. So I'm going to maybe set this up to something like 8,000 instead of 10,000. And I'm going to double my attenuation radius to 2,000 as well. And that looks quite nice. So the next thing I'm going to do is pretty much copy and paste a load of these all the way down to brighten up this whole pathway for us. So I'm going to press Control C and Control V to copy it. And then I'm just going to move it along and then I'm just going to drag it, making sure I get enough of it here. So 
uh, one second. And then just copy and paste it again, control C, control V. And just make sure we've got equal distances between all of these as well. Control C, control V, move it along, keep going and keep going and a couple more there you go you can't really see behind these stairs there actually you know what I think I'm gonna do a couple more so I'm just gonna keep moving it along the lava only goes so far but we do want the player to be able to see the wall here as well so I'm just gonna keep them going so control C control V all the way up to the edge of our level pretty much so keep going we've got a lot of these little lights here so there we go so I'm gonna leave it at that that looks quite nice that is really brightening up our scene and now what the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some quick little detail lights for these little candles that we've got here with the flames so once again these are just gonna be little point lights um, I could put three of these on here for each candle but I'm really not going to be doing that, it's hardly worth it. So instead what I'm going to do is just put one in front and a little bit above, just like this, to make it look like they're lit up. The light colour is going to be more towards the yellow this time, and what I'm going to do is intensity, I'm going to set this to something like 2,500. We don't want it to be too bright, it's just candles, and that is it really. And then what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this little light over to the other little stands that I've got here, so just move them over just like this copy and paste and then I've also got another one on the second level as well if you're having trouble seeing things just go to your modes at the top go to unlit and then just drag it up and place it in just here so if we go into lit mode again you can see our scene is really coming to life. Now the next thing and the last thing that I'm going to be doing in today's video is pretty much adding some little lights to our coin mesh and our fuel meshes as well because they are quite bright in the way that they look but it doesn't really affect the scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my coin pickup over here, open the blueprint and then go into my viewport and all I'm going to do is add a little point light in there and that will really bring the scene to life. So add your point light in and you can see suddenly they become really really bright because each one of these has a point light in it and it lightens up our scene a little bit and also as soon as we destroy this mesh when we pick it up those lights are going to go out as well which is pretty cool so what I'm going to do with these lights because they're white once again I'm just going to change the color and I'm going to make these like a yellow just like that and that looks quite nice and all I'm going to do now is just do the same thing for the fuel as well so I'm going to find my fuel pickup which is in here somewhere so let's see if I can find it so coin mesh nope dire fuel nope let's see if we can find it it's in here somewhere um, just give me a second and I will grab it so fuel pickup open it up and then in the components panel in the viewport all we're going to be doing is just simply adding in the point light and this time I am just going to make this a little bit more blue because it's a blue mesh and you can see this looks really really nice okay so we've got these point lights in here and that looks quite nice they're really br blue really nice looking so what I'm gonna do is just press play let's check out how these lights look and hopefully we've got this really nice looking scene so give it a couple of seconds to load jump in here and you can see we've got the blues from the pickups the yellows from the pickups and we've also got all of our detail lighting everything is really coming to life and hopefully you guys have a really good looking scene you can spend a lot more time on this little lighting setup it's entirely up to you um, but for now this is a good basis and once again thanks for watching guys stay awesome keep creating your boy Virtus signing out <laughs>